walking uh, around downtown yesterday. Yeah. And the downtown establishments were quite packed. Oh, that's what I've heard. And I heard that it was also like 10 to 1 Ohio State fans yes. over Northwestern fans. Yes. But that's to be expected, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, both schools were kind of close by, so we were kind of middle ground for both of those places. I'll tell you what, where I'd rather be today, down in Jacksonville. Me so this too. is that forecast that I was talking about just a few moments ago. It's going to be a warm one down there today at kickoff, 1 p.m., 78 degrees, 80, the forecast high in Jacksonville today. But you'll notice some lightning strikes on that day planner. They are expecting some scattered showers and thunderstorms in addition to those warmer temperatures. That's because they have their own cold front that they're going to be dealing with today. This is moving off that Gulf Coast as we get into the afternoon. That uh, area of rain and storms in southern uh, Georgia now will be pushing into Jacksonville. So it will be a little bit of a saturated, soggy, stormy day down there. For us, our cold front is still back to our west. And we still have this area of low pressure. But now so much colder air is starting to work its way in on the backside of that system. And that's what's going to press through central Indiana more so later this evening into the overnight tonight. So enjoy the quiet, mild weather in the meantime as our temperatures will rebound back into the low to mid-50s early in the afternoon. Dry time as well through about 3 p.m. Rain starts to push in as that cold front approaches and takes over. Scattered rain showers will be in play as we get into the early evening as temperatures start to fall back into the 40s. And we forecast our high temperatures to range from the upper 40s to areas northwest, closer to that boundary where the clouds will increase first. And then the farther southeast you go, places like North Vernon, down to Columbus, we're in the mid to upper 50s for highs this afternoon. Then cold air takes over for everybody. So here's that timeline. 8 o'clock this morning, we still have some sunshine, a nice, quiet, and warmer start to the day. Cloud cover takes over just after lunchtime. A few stray showers start to build in, mainly after 3 p.m. And then after about 3 o'clock into the evening, rain becomes more widespread, and we'll be monitoring rain potentially mixing with snow as we get into the overnight as much colder air works its way in. We are tracking wind chill values tomorrow morning to be back into the mid-20s. Much colder air taking over a loft as well. That's why we are expecting more of a snow mix than rain showers, even though temperatures will be very close to that freezing mark and just above it as we get into tomorrow. But wind chill values tomorrow hover near freezing all the way through the afternoon turning much colder. And here's that transition. We'll start at 6 p.m. tonight. Rain will start to mix with snow through the overnight as temperatures fall. Most of us hold steady in the low to mid 30s to get tomorrow started. And then we're really just not going to warm up much tomorrow afternoon. Pretty steady temperatures in the upper 30s with occasional snow showers creating a few slick spots. But really not anticipating much in the way of snowfall accumulation. Now, we will stay colder all the way through next week with wind chill values into the teens as we start the week each and every day next week. 35 degrees on Tuesday with, again, flurries, a possibility. Highs in the 30s, lows in the 20s all next week, Alyssa.